Hello, let's have a look at how you can quickly get started with requesting information from users using a form and from there you can use it for whatever purpose you need. So forms are tied to Node-RED. So first we need a Node-RED instance. So I'm going to start a Node-RED and if we go to form workflows you can see that I don't have any form workflows forms in this case would be human workflows. If I go to the front page, you can see that I don't have any uh, instances of a human workflow running right now. If I go to forms, you can see that I don't have any forms. So let's go to the node -read. So I'm going to drag in a workflow node. Uh, I need both an in and an out node. And first we need a queue name. Um, this should be uh, all small, uh, non-capital letters, no special characters, no spaces. It works if you do, but to avoid issues and problems, try and avoid it, right? So let's create a test workflow here. Um, I want to enable this for web because we will not do with uh, forms. <clears throat> and here I can type a custom name if I want a more friendly name in the UI. So this could be my... Uh, first web form. Um, so what will happen is that when someone creates an instance of this workflow, this node gets triggered. It will get an empty payload and we can then send a, we can save and send a response based on that workflow with the out node. So in this case, we're just going to complete the workflow and the user form is going to be none. So we'll just send us back to the front page. So once I deploy this and I go to forms, you'll see my first web form is here. If I click it, I create an instance of that workflow, but it instantly gets completed and I go to the front page. So if I click here to see completed workflows, you can see here is my completed workflow. <clears throat> so let's create a form. And just to create it simple, I'm, uh, let's go out of this. So let's create a simple form. Um, I'm going to call this, um, I don't know, first name. Um, the way that I see this field inside Node-RED is what you have as property name on the API. So in this case, it auto generated first name with capital N. You can change this to something else if you want. Um, could be first, I don't know. Um, and I could add one more, so let's add... Uh, last name and change it to last you don't have to change it it's just yeah um and i can call this my form if i go back to node red i can now go inside here and say i want to show the user form my form if i leave it completed it will complete the workflow right away but i will see the form so if i go to forms and i create an instance, I now see the form, but I can't do anything to it because the workflow instance is complete. So let's change this to idle. So idle means that we're waiting for some kind of input. Um, <clears throat> but I also want to be able to actually complete the workflow. And I can do that by either checking for the user has actually typed in some values that I expect or all the values that I expect. Or I can do a more simple way where I can simply check that the user click a button and then just complete it based on that. Um, so in case you don't know what the name is, uh, it's submit button, but whatever. Um, I can go in and add a debug node so I can see what uh, I'm actually getting from the web page. And let's complete the workflow one more time. So I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to type something and click submit. So what I see now is I can see whatever I typed in first name and last name. I can also see that submit was true, meaning that was the button I clicked. But I also get the name of the button that was used to submit the form in submit button. So that will be on any workflow, no matter what buttons you have. So I can actually use that now to actually make a more intelligent workflow here. So I can add a switch now. And inside here, I'm going to say 
check if payload.submit button is uh, empty or null. Otherwise, do something else. So if this is uh, empty or null, that means the user hasn't completed the form. But as soon as the user has completed the form, uh, the button has been clicked and I can now complete the workflow and then end it. So if I go here now and clear this and click submit, it will now complete the workflow. So if I look at the front page, I don't have anything. Uh, I have some completed workflows, but I don't have any running workflows. I can go to form workflows. I can create an instance of it. I can type something. Uh, and when I click the button, it completes. And I now have the values that I wanted. And I can now use that for something to call a robot or send an email or create a Jira ticket or whatever you might be interested in. Um, I'll cover some of the more advanced things like data tables and file uploads in another video, but I hope this gets you started.